feels pretty real now. While children across the UK enjoy their own pre-Olympics, all the Queen's men have been spelling things out where the beach volleyball will be staged. Down by the seaside at Weymouth, the kids are looking forward to the sailing, while athletes flying into Heathrow will see the Olympic rings as flowers at Kew Gardens. Welcome to London! These are some of the chosen few who will run with the torch around the United Kingdom, and they insist the Olympics are a UK event, not just a London event. Well, obviously, I would think the majority of people would still say that the Olympics is, is in Great Britain. A United Kingdom. We are a United Kingdom, regardless of what Mr. Salmon says. Yeah, I don't know if I'm says. <laughs> <laughs> but the London Olympics still has an image problem. The budget, the tickets, do people really feel part of it? Time to tackle the man at the top. What do you say to those people who still well, don't feel part of it? I don't it? speak to a lot of people that are saying that, in fairness, and not because I live a hermetically sealed life. I spend more time than probably any journalist in this group outside of London. So I know that people are being involved. I know there are millions of people that are helping us, and I think that people recognise that these games are going to leave a lasting impression, a lasting legacy. <laughs> Inspire a generation is the motto, so how is that going? Well, we've been doing the Mini Olympics today and to mark 100 days till the Olympics, and so we're all really excited. Um, well, I like how um, everyone's involved, how people can come from different countries to watch, and I like the fact um, people can come and see London, see our town, because I think it's quite a nice town, it's got Big Ben and stuff. What I think the Olympics is about is about meeting new countries and seeing their abilities to every sport and we might and we might get some trophies and it's all about teamwork and friendship. This lot were babies when London won the bid to host the Games. They were more interested in teething rings than Olympic rings. But the months turned into years and the London Olympics is definitely happening in 100 days. Simon Viger, 5 News.